General Meeting of the Biological Agri Solutions Association of India, Basai, on September 18, 2023, at India Habitat Centre, New Delhi, highlighted the pressing issues within the agricultural biological sector. Eminent experts discuss the industry's challenges, including low awareness and regulatory gaps. Basai CEO Vipin Saini outlined their initiatives, while speakers emphasized the need for sustainability and regulation in biological products to ensure crop protection and fertilizer usage in India. I'm basically a regulatory person and I have been all along into chemicals. Right, I'm a former executive director of Crop Life. Agrochemical Federation of India and now a total switch to biologicals is a huge huge change for me and what I found that it's the need of the hour the government is also feeling so the industry is feeling so and I feel blessed that uh, in the similar context like I'm the kind of uh, uh, you know I mean appreciation being gained by the chemical industry and my knowledge on regulatory affairs now the same thing has come across in the biological affairs right and we have taken a decision that rather than going into uh, programs where the industry should benefit we will be actually focusing on uh, farmer uh, uh, things on that part during the event Krishi Jagran's managing director Shiny Dominic and founder MC Dominic were honoured by Basai's chairperson Juzal Kurakiwala for their significant contributions to the agriculture industry spanning three decades. The meeting commenced with a welcome address from Basai's vice chairperson Sandeepa Khanikar. Juzal Kurakiwala, chairperson of Basai, addressed the gathering, noting awareness and knowledge about biological products remain relatively low. You see, biologicals were. Uh is a segment in the agriculture industry which was not represented in an organized way. There, there have been small organizations who are there, but this is the first time that organized companies uh, in India, uh, large companies have come together to form this Basai Association. Primarily because this segment is also growing very fast and uh, the farmer's awareness is very, very low. Uh, and therefore the need to have uh, an association and also to influence the government to bring in a balanced regulation so that the entire segment and the industry can grow. That has been the basic vision of Basai. The event featured a presentation by Basai CEO Vipin Saini who outlined the association's initiatives and objectives for the benefit of farmers. Dr. Ankita Pandey, Science Policy Advisor at PETA India, underscored the challenges arising from the absence of regulation, with states making independent decisions on regulating this category. So this year we in fact collaborated to have a webinar series where we've been promoting and creating awareness on how instead of using animals you can use alternative approaches which are called as new approach methodologies. They are, be they are being increasingly popular all around the world and we want to make sure that our toxicologists, our uh, industry is at par with what's happening globally. So the aim of the webinar was to create awareness and we had, to we had a lot of toxicologists from the government regulators, from companies and CROs as a part of the series. Dr. P.K. Singh, Agriculture Commissioner, Government of India, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, informed that Basai was formed to unite industry players in addressing the need for awareness in the agri-biological sector. The ऐसे स्थिति में जो हमारे एग्री बायोलॉजिकल्स हैं उनका बहुत महत्व है और जहां कहीं अभी एग्रोकेमिकल्स का कम प्रयोग है उसमें भी हम कैसे एग्रो बायोलॉजिकल्स को आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं खास तौर से अफ्रीकन यूनियन अभी नया नया G20 में आए हैं उनके यहां बहुत सी ऐसी स्थिति है ऐसी खेती के साधन हैं जहां पे कि अभी एक दो ना तो एक दो केमिकल है बल्कि नेचुरल फॉर नेचुरल फार्मिंग की जो स्थितियां हैं वो अभी भी बरकरार हैं तो ऐसी जगहों पे क्या हम मृदा के स्वास्थ्य का सस्टेनेबिलिटी को देखते हुए एग्रो एग्री बायोलॉजिकल्स को प्रमोट कर सकते हैं ये विचार करना है और यही शायद बसाई का काम है जो कि वो प्रमोट कर रहे हैं आर के गोयल मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ वर्देशियन लाइफ साइंसेस highlighted the goal of making Basai the apex body for all bio-agriculture needs. Through this Basai platform, we are uh, contributing how a biostimulants or biological space we can increase the productivity and these are safe products and the, definitely we are working together with the government, with the industry, with the, for the farmers 
how these products can enhance the productivity and the income for the farmer. So through BSI platform, we all industry people, particularly as a, as a Vardesian, we are working on the proper nutrition for the crop. That's why it will increase the efficiency and the productivity. Raju Kapoor, Director of Corporate Affairs of Industry and Public Affairs at FMC India, stressed the urgency of sustainability for biologicals in the agriculture sector to regulate crop protection in the country. At present, in my opinion, I think the product profiles need need up, updation or they need upgrading. And I'm very sure uh, uh, with the regulations improving, uh, new investments in biologicals will come up. New players, uh, players like FMC, who are big names in biologicals globally, will also be very interested to invest in biological space in the country. Dr. J.K. Shuran, Noodle Officer at Jay Bajran Pratishthan and Beekeeping Consultant, along with Dr. Sarita Bhalla, Retired Consultant, Pharmacology at the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, shared insights on the sustainability of the bio-agri industry in the country. Uh, keeping the farmers and the public health in view as one of the, it was suggestion that post covid also otherwise also keeping human health in view because i am a medical toxicologist concerned with health so i am really happy with this work and uh, i would like them to promote it further so that of course pesticides you you really cannot overrule or uh, get away with the pesticides because they are required etc but everything has to be done safely and judicially the event concluded with the soft launch of informative ebooks showcasing their commitment to advancing the bio agri industry in the country